Well, a proposal for marina is causing a stir for some local canoe clubs. The state wants to develop a beach park and marina along Sand Island, but some canoe clubs worry this could ruin their way of life. KITV4's Cam Tran was there when paddlers tried to show state officials how their safety could be in jeopardy. On any given afternoon, you'll see dozens of paddlers racing and practicing across the Kalaheo Channel along Sand Island. But hundreds of paddlers worry their livelihood could change if the state has their way. We gotta fight for our water. Yeah. yeah. Through a private and public partnership, the Department of Land and Natural Resources wants to build a state park with offices, restrooms, and a marina that could house up to 400 boats along Sand Island, just yards away from where several canoe clubs practice. The state says revenues from the marina would go to sustain the state park and the marina itself. Right now we're trying to flesh out different ideas on how we can generate revenue for the state to maintain these facilities. Because we know that if you have a state facility, you need revenue to maintain it. And this, boats not yielding to canoes, is the reason why hundreds of paddlers don't want the marina near their club area. The boats come by, they're supposed to stop, but they don't. So we stop. Um, but when I have my steersman out there that's 10 years old, they're just like going to panic. Leaders from five different canoe clubs met with their state representatives, senators, and DLNR to put a stop to the multi million dollar project and find some type of compromise. And it seems like today their concerns did not fall on deaf ears. It seems that over the years, our Hawaiian sports have been pushed out of many different venues. And I want to be able to preserve um, canoe paddling and a lot of the ocean sports that people enjoy. Cam Tran, KITV 4 News. DLNR says that it is still reaching out to groups that would be impacted by the harbor. They say that the project is just in its preliminary stages right now and that it would still be several years before any development starts.